but in terms of what I'm shifting my firm into um, offering is um, unrelated, but it's focusing on offering what's called pre-acquisition diligence to my investor clients. So um, one of the old school uh, ways of practicing real estate law is don't come to me until you have a contract. Mm -hmm. And um, usually by that time, you have an investor who's locked in a price and they kind of have an idea of like what type of, you know, diligence they'll be doing on the property. Obviously, the more creative of a deal it is, the more complicated the diligence will get. But at that point, you have a seller who's if they're working with a lawyer specifically on the other side, they're going to be expecting a deposit. Um, you may also be looking to assign the transaction. You could have a buyer who has concerns. So um, there's a lot of research and work that can be done to support an investor from the attorney's perspective before they even go and lock up a price on a deal. Um, and some of the things that will come out of the woodwork may even impact what price they offer. Um, the best example I can give is title searches, um, making sure that whatever you know number you're working with will actually be doable for your seller. Um, like, can do, are they going to have to bring money to the table? Because that'll usually kill a deal. So that's like the most basic. 